Search for oil in the Wabash Valley takes a new step this week. Today, contractors working for ISU started seismic testing in downtown Terre Haute. Uh, it is part of the plan to drill for oil on Indiana State University property. News 10's Joe Ostrowski tells us how that testing works and how it could affect your community. You might have seen it on Friday. This strange looking truck stopping and starting along several city streets. But even if you didn't see the truck, you may have felt it. It's part of a process called seismic testing and here's how it works. This special built truck lowers a pad to the pavement and sends vibrations into the ground. Those vibrations bounce back and are picked up by these magnetic sensors. In turn, those signals are fed back here. These reds and the yellows are traffic noise. Where they're computerized into a map of what lies underground. We don't see gas or oil or water. We only see the, the rock formations and different types of materials, whether it's gravel or clay or whatever. Officials say the project will mean some lane closures on downtown streets. Among them, Wabash Avenue, Poplar, Chestnut, Tippecanoe, and Oak Streets between 3rd and 19th. It'll also affect 5th, 7th, 8th, and 9th Streets between Tippecanoe and Oak. But if the work means traffic headaches, those workers say it shouldn't give you a real headache. their equipment makes much less noise than a passing train. When the train's going by, you see the, you know, the noise on the, on the instruments in the recorder, and he stops and waits until the train is passed. So, the, yeah, the train is making way, way more noise than, than we create with the vibrator. Work being done in the search for fuel. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassisio, Joe Strauss, News 10. Now, workers also say they have special monitors who check the frequency of vibrations and they tone down those vibrations around buildings. Yeah.